what's up guys and welcome to part 19 of tutorial series on aws audio analysis in the previous tutorial we have created the new resources that were marked in red as per our architecture diagram as you can see on my screen and also we had updated and set the correct triggers hence our flow is all set as per our new architecture diagram or as per our new use case so now in this tutorial we are going to update our lambda function to derive separate transcript of individual speakers after speaker identification or speaker diarization diarization so before we start let me first give you an idea that why we need this helper lambda function and why we are going to update it so let's have a look so this is the transcribe outcome so if we look at the architecture diagram then amazon transcribe will give us an output within an s3 bucket something like this so i will wrap it here so this is the uh, overall transcribe of an audio right and after that here you can see the speaker label right and then we have speaker zero uh, that is uh, end time and start time right and what it, he or she is speaking then we have speaker one right and and this is how the uh, output of transcribe is so here we require an individual transcript for speaker 0 and speaker 1 so that is agent and customer in our case so as you can see it's quite messy to even look at it so uh, let me try to uh, spot some uh, speaker level transcription for you so so for example uh, we are considering the speaker underscore 1 so maybe not that i am a bit confused where we are so so let me pick up this uh, start time that is 0 0.84 so what he, uh, what you can see here is it's just the start time and end time that is uh, being referencing to an individual speaker right so now if i look for uh, this timestamp So here, here you can see within items, right? So the start time is 0 0.84 and we have a content over here that this word has been spoken within this uh, given time interval. So uh, this is something like this, right? So, and we, we don't need this uh, messy output to be fed into a uh, comprehend for sentiment analysis, right? So that's where, uh, we require the outcome like this so as you can see uh, this is the speaker zero transcription and this is the speaker one tran transcription so for example agent and customer separate transcript so that is the reason uh, we are here to update our or write some code within the lambda function that is our helper lambda function to get such kind of output so when I say such kind, it's transcription of an individual speaker uh, bundle up separately. Right, so uh, we will move back to our AWS management console. So just to remind you that we are updating this uh, AWS Lambda function uh, that we have created in the previous tutorial. So let's navigate to AWS management console and jump to Lambda management console. So here we are, uh, so this is the Lambda function that is AWS audio analysis helper that we have created uh, in the previous tutorial. So here I'm not going to write a code from scratch, but I have already written the code. So I'm going to simply copy and paste. So uh, this is the Lambda code that we are going to use in order to generate individual transcript for an individual speaker. So I'm going to copy this, uh, go back to our Lambda function and I'm going to paste this and I will save this. I will take you through this code at high level. So here we are using two libraries that is JSON and Boto3. Now from line number five to line number 11, 
i think uh, you will be familiar with this uh, lines so this is nothing but the uh, s3 bucket trigger and based on that trigger we are reading the file and loading it into this transcript underscore result so what we are loading in transcript underscore result is this file that is uh, transcribe output right so we are uh, loading this data or reading this data from an s3 bucket on trigger now post this starting from line 13 to line number 38 so that is this chunk of code so uh, here i here i have wrote a logic to to get the file something like this i mean to get the transcript of an individual speaker so i'm doing uh, nothing but an uh, json file or the dictionary manipulation over here in order to uh, come up with these two separate transcript that is speaker 0 and speaker 1 uh, so this logic even works for if you have for example more than two speakers it is not limited to only two speakers so you can uh, use this code uh, in your use case too um, in case if you have more than two speakers right and finally uh, post uh, retrieving the transcript of an individual speaker i am uploading it to the s3 bucket now this s3 bucket refers to this one that is amazon s3 over here within our architecture diagram again we have created this s3 bucket in the previous tutorial so let me go ahead and show you so here we are and this is our s3 bucket right so what this lambda function will do post uh, separating the transcript of an individual speaker uh, it's going to upload the json file uh, for individual speaker so so it will bundle up all the speakers into a single json file labeling uh, that speaker underscore one and its transcript speaker underscore two and its transcript so that's how it will create a json file or the json data and that's what uh, we are uploading it to this s3 bucket now this s3 bucket will trigger our another lambda function that is responsible for sentiment analysis so that is something we are going to cover in the next tutorial right so and this helper lambda function again it will help us in retrieving the transcript of an individual speaker and that's all for now and in the next tutorial we are going to update or modify the lambda function as i said that is responsible for sentiment analysis as per our requirement and as usual, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.